Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to see how I can make this polygon of this structure here without any uh, lights light the actual scene. So we're going to use luminosity and an image to do it. So to start with, what I'm going to do is bring up the lights. I'm just going to turn them all off. So I'm just going to put nothing in there, turn all this off so nothing's affecting from the distant light. So these are the default lights. Again, environment lights, turn everything off so it's completely uh, black. So what I want to do is I want to use the screen. So I've done the screen. So if we go back here as a, just as a basic UV map and what I want it to do is I want to use an image sequence that I've found uh, to light the scene because currently it's completely dark. So we double click the screen and the first thing I'm going to do is go to add node image double click and then let's choose my image sequence. So I've got this image sequence here and I'm going to go to UV at the bottom look and then choose uh, the screen itself like so plug it color to color I'm going to go into my image editor and make sure it's on sRGB, which it is. I'm now going to right mouse click, copy, right mouse click, paste those settings and take the colour and put it into the colour uh, palette here, the luminous colour input. I'm then going to search in my node for a scalar here. So if you put SCA in, double click it and then I'm going to plug this into the luminous part here which then turns the polygon into a kind of a light look and you can see it and this is set out for double click it at one so let's move it to say 25 and so obviously it's got brighter and it started lighting the scene here as well the problem is is if i start going let's say 50 it does make the actual uh, image we're using washed out slightly uh, so let's put it back to 30 and if I scrub my timeline you can't really see it first but it is moving because it's an image sequence that I've just got off the internet so at the minute I'm saying yeah that's okay I've got my image sequence image into color image sequence into the luminous color and then I've got my scalar about 30 so that's how you actually uh, use a polygon to light the actual scene if you want to build on that now something else you could do is let's go back and have a let's choose a distant light go to the properties and switch it to an area light and then let's move it and place it in front of the actual screen and what we'll do is we'll rotate it so I'm just using the rotate option we're going to rotate and move it so it's just facing outwards so it's in front of the screen like this like so right in front of it and then we're going to go to modify size and let's go and make it the same roughly the same size with by bringing these handles in and out and then moving it up as well so let's have a look how we're doing kind of about there just needs to be a little bit bigger maybe but I'll stick with that so what we've got is we've got it in front of this now so if we turn VPR on let's go and turn all these options on let's give it a 10% line so what I'm going to do to make this work is I'm going to tell it turn off normalize turn off portal I'm going to go to my image projection and use the same actual sequence here so we get the same kind of colors I'll make the MSI uh, sample double and samples to about 12 and then here it's up to you how high so if I put 50 in it's going to come further put like again 100 and further still and that's kind of worked together now with the actual luminous image in the background and again, it's an image sequence and the actual portal light is an image sequence using the same kind of colors as it's projected out. So that's the basics of how I would use and light a polygon 
using basic an area light as well to light this kind of scene and again the more strength it's got the, the, the lighter it will be so again thanks for watching